It's been 74 years since the Zionist movement decided that God was in fact an estate agent and called for the establishment of a Jewish majority state in Palestine, based on the biblical concept that the Holy Land was promised to the Jews by God. Al-Nakba, which translates into the catastrophe, refers to the day commemorating the ethnic cleansing of Palestine. But the Nakba wasn't just a day, and it certainly hasn't ended. The catastrophe has led the life of every single Palestinian until today. The Nakba's main objective was pretty much for Israel to make Palestinians disappear through a violent process of massacres and forced expulsions of hundreds of thousands of people from their homeland. That doesn't sound like it's changed much now, has it? Now, nah, before you start going ahead and labeling me as anti-Semitic, let's go over some facts. Something I know Israelis aren't very fond of. Between 1947 and 49, at least 750,000 Palestinians were displaced from their homes. Zionist forces took more than 78% of historic Palestine. Over 500 villages were ethnically cleansed and destroyed. Dozens of mass Massacres were carried out and 15,000 Palestinians were murdered. By massacring and expelling hundreds of thousands of Palestinians, Israel hoped that they would somehow fizzle out into neighboring countries, forgetting their homeland and their rights. But they were wrong. There are now more Palestinians in Palestine than ever before. Palestinians continue to find ways to resist, to fight for their cause, for justice, and their right to live their life in dignity. And despite what Western media will have you think, they are the true face of resistance and have been for 74 years.